All right, here we have a physics problem, and it involves um, angular velocity. It says a bullet is shot through two cardboard discs that we see here, a distance d apart, uh, to a shaft turning with a rotational period t. So that t is the time it takes each of these discs to go through two pi radians, or one full revolution. Derive a formula for the, bu for the bullet speed in terms of d and t and the measured angle theta. So let's note, theta is the dis theta is the angular distance between the two holes. And if we think about it, if the bullet goes through here, right here, disc 1, this disc 2 must have traveled through an angle theta for the bullet to go through it as well. And it has to have traveled through this angle theta in the, in the same amount of time uh, that it took the bullet to come through distance d. So we can figure out the actual velocity of the bullet knowing these things. So the first thing we want to know is velocity is distance, which we will call it distance, big D for this distance here, over time. And what is the time? The time is the time is the time it takes the bullet to go from disc one to disc two, or the time it takes the disc to rotate through this angle theta. Now we're given the rotational period as being T. What is T? T is the time it takes to rotate two pi radians. Right? And they both have the same rotational velocity. So that's the T. And so if it takes the so that's the time it takes to rotate two pi radians. We want to know the time. We want to know the time it takes to rotate theta radians. And so what's that going to be? Well, we take the ratio of theta to 2 pi and we times it by its rotational speed times t. So this is the time it takes to rotate theta. So therefore the velocity of this bullet is distance all over theta over 2 pi times that angular velocity t. And if we simplify that, this fraction here will, f will flip. This, p this theta over 2 pi will flip. When you divide by a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. So we end up with 2 pi times d, that distance, all over theta times the rotational speed. And so that's a formula for the velocity in terms of d, t, and theta.